Hey everyone, Poco here again. Uh, hey, it's going to be another rant. Oh boy. This time it is because I flipped the channel after leaving the Philip DeFranco uh, Ustream. Um, so I turned on to CNN and right now they're doing the Republican presidential possible candidate or whatever um, debate. And question came up of whether um, the candidates would want to get rid of the getting rid of don't ask, don't tell once they got in office. So basically putting it back in place rather than what um, the Obama administration is about to do soon and finally get rid of it. So there's seven uh, candidates up there. Um, I'm Canadian so I don't really know them or their names, but there's probably, there's two for sure that said unless we're told by uh, commanders that, hey, this actually is a problem having gays and lesbians in the service, then we're gonna keep leaving out don't ask, don't tell, and let gays openly serve. So that means, and there's one more possibly who um, agreed with getting rid of Don't Ask Hotel. So that leaves three or, or sorry, four to five Republican presidential candidates that do not want gays and lesbians to serve in the military. I have a huge problem with this. And I'm not even American. I'm Canadian, as I said. But you need everyone that you can get when you're fighting two wars in Afghanistan, Iraq, and all your other little things going on. Um, so I kind of understand that most stupid Republicans are deep religious and are against gays and that, but come on now. 41 countries already have lifted the ban on, or have no ban, on homosexuals serving in the military including some of America's biggest allies. Israel, United Kingdom, Canada, France, Germany. These are all countries that already don't have a don't ask, don't tell policy because we allow anyone, regardless of their sexual orientation, to serve in the military and to do it without discrimination. America, when 2012 comes in, Make sure that you people let the candidates know that you agree that don't ask, don't tell is a friggin' stupid rule and needs to be gone rid of and kept gone. Gays and lesbians can serve just as well as anyone else. Sexual orientation means n does not mean that you're not going to be able to serve your country or do your duty or that you're going to try and convert everyone, or anything stupid like that. I'm tired of all those accusations. I know a few homosexual people, and they don't try and convert anyone, because you know what? They realize the truth, that it's who you are, not something you choose to be. Like, when you choose to be a member of a church, and then you go and say, Oh, you have to join my church because this is the right way. No. People realize that homosexuality is the way they are, and it's up to a person individually to come to that conclusion if they're that way too. It's not something you can be converted to. I'm just sick of people, especially politicians, with that assumption that people could be converted by homosexuals. Come on, get a grip. Maybe they'll help them realize what's true but they won't convert a straight person suddenly into being a hardcore, I love cock gay person. I'm sorry, but it's just so ridiculous that I had to vlog about this after seeing it. Please leave any comments about your opinion on Don't Ask, Don't Tell. I'd love to hear them. Exit Tour of Darkness.